is it okay um, to do a baseline first when doing a biofeedback with a scalar digitizer? Right, well baseline for people that aren't aware is a way where Spooky can smooth out and increase the accuracy of biofeedbacks. It's very useful in situations where you're living in an apartment which has got a lot of electrical noise, Wi-Fi and, and uh, cell phones and everything else. And what Baseline does, it does one scan and then it subtracts that, the readings from that from all other scans. And so the first scan, the baseline scan, is just the noise without you being connected onto the, um, into the biofeedback system. And in this case, it'll be the scalar digitizer. And then after then, you do your scans. But the good thing about scalar digitizer is that it's not affected so much by that noise. And so the signal will be quite pure anyway. And so you don't really need to use baseline for the, um, the spooky biofeedback. That's very good, isn't it? It is good. Um, if you do a biofeedback and you, can, and you view the graph, you can see the graph is very straight or fairly straight. And then there'll be the blips, which are all the pathogens, all the things that, are, that you want to um, get rid of. All those beeps will come up and you can treat them.